So for this video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. On the 20th of July, I'm going to be going to which is a tour that a bunch of drag race cream, which is a tour that a bunch of drag race cream, which is a tour that a bunch of drag race queens are going on and they're coming to Melbourne and I'm going to be seeing them. In terms of the queens that are actually going to be on the tour, I'm not sure because I think the lineup has changed a few times, but all I need to know is that Sasha is going to be there. So for this, I obviously want to look fab and I also want to look like Sasha Velour. So I guess for me, this is my Sasha Velour look 2.0. Some of my first videos were revolved around Sasha Velour because as soon as the season nine cast was announced and I saw her Instagram, I was instantly obsessed. And now I'm back to do it again, but this time better because my makeup skills are not very good. Okay, so I have a general idea of how I want this to work out. So obviously the first point is that it's going to be Sasha inspired. But how am I going to do that, you may ask. First things first, I'm going to be creating a monochromed moment. Sasha is the queen of monochrome. She loves to do some color coordination. And I definitely want to replicate that. Second of all is the color choice. So I, if I'm going to be having one color, I've got to choose the right color. So I'm going to go with red. Thirdly, we've obviously got to have the trademark crown. And then finally, as an added detail, uh, roses seem to be a common theme with Sasha Velour. I think that it's a good reference to her iconic lip sync moment. So I'm gonna have a rose involved somehow. Okay, so I'm gonna be buying some things and I'm gonna be making a couple other things for this. So I think I'll just show you all the things that I've bought so far. Okay, so first things first, I'll show you the wig. So this is a mess, I probably should have brushed it. So it's a basic, you know, slick, long, black wig. It's a lace front and it's got like some little baby hairs at the front here. I think that like having long, sleek hair is probably the easiest to go for because you don't really have to style it and you don't have to worry about it looking like you just got it out of the bag because it's supposed to look like flat and sleek and all that kind of stuff. I got it from Wish, um, so obviously it was pretty inexpensive. I can't remember, I'll just have to put the price up on the screen. Okay, so next I've got the dress. I got this from ASOS, I think it was. You know, it's kind of a really basic kind of stretchy material, just plain red. Okay, so next is the fur coat. So again, I did buy it on Wish and I'm still waiting for it to come in and I'm not sure if it's gonna be in on time. So I did have to change things a little bit. So I did get a backup jacket, but it's going to affect the monochrome look. I got it from eBay and it's just like a really, it's a fur jacket. It's black. I've got black hair, so it's not going to look out of place, but I would have preferred a red coat because I'm worried that my long hair is going to blend into the jacket. So let's all just pray that my jacket shows up in time. The next thing is my boots. So these are kind of like a calf length above the ankle length, I don't really know. Pointy red boot, it's got the zipper right down the middle. I have a really bad habit of buying shoes that are really uncomfortable. I don't know why I keep doing it, but I do. So um, I'm probably gonna be regretting buying these shoes on the night, but beauty is pain. Okay, so now for the final two aspects of the outfit is gonna be the crown and the rose that I'm gonna have with me. So let's get started on that. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna be decorating this fake red rose just as like a little prop. So I'm just going to be making my own kind of red glitter glue, and I'm just taking that and brushing it over the edges of the rose petals, obviously to add some sparkle. Then I just took some green glitter glue and I just brushed that over the edges of the leaves. Then I just added some little red rhinestones along the edges of the petals also. So 
So now I wanted to create the effect of like water droplets on the rose and also dripping off the rose. So I've just got some glass beads in three different sizes and some clear thread. So I just took some of those beads and glued them directly onto the rose. And then I also tied beads along the string in a way that made it look like droplets of water. And then I took those droplets and glued them onto the leaves and the rose just to create the effect of dripping water. Girl, look how orange you fucking look, girl. I'm not joking, bitch. Okay, so I've made a little change to my hair since the last time you saw me. And I actually haven't washed it for about three days, so I just really wanted to make sure I put my best foot forwards when I showed you my hair for the first time. So it's probably been about a week or so since the last time I filmed. So I've got a few little updates since the last time I was here. So everything that I actually ordered off of Wish and I didn't think was going to come in time actually did come in time. So I'm really happy about that. So the most important thing that I probably got was my red fur coat. And I'm like so happy with it. I'm actually kind of surprised by the quality of it. It's so soft and fluffy. And then the other things that came in were just my tights. So I've just got, you know, normal skin toned uh, tights. And then over the top, I'm just gonna be wearing these stoned fishnets. So my legs are gonna be glittery and beautiful. So now it's time to finally do this stupid crown. I've been putting this off forever and I don't even know why. So this is the first crown that I made probably like over a year ago now. And I've tried this crown on with my wig and everything and I'm pretty happy with the size of it. So I think I'm just gonna make it the exact same, but in red. Let's get started. So I can't actually remember the size of the crown originally. I feel like I might have put it in the video or in the comments of that video, but I honestly can't bring myself to go back and watch that video. So I'm just gonna have to measure it now. So it's about 14.5 centimeters high and then about 50.5 centimeters. And then the low points of the crown are 7.5 centimeters. Okay, so unlike last time where I used actual pen to mark it off and you can actually see it in some sections of the crown where it looks kind of messy and dirty. I'm going to be using actual Taylor's chalk so that I can mark it out and it won't be as obvious and it won't be as permanent. So I think this pink piece of chalk is going to be perfect because it's just similar enough in colour that it's not going to be noticeable but you can also still see the markings. So I'm just going to measure the felt. So it's 42 centimetres in length which is just under what I need. So I'm going to have to use this second piece here to, you know, fill in the blank. But just having a few centimetres to hide at the back of the crown is going to be a lot better than what I did here because it's almost half and half with these two pieces of felt. And I ended up having these two seams that were really spread far apart and I really hated it. Okay, so the lowest point is 7.5 centimetres and then the highest point is 14.5 centimetres. Then I'm just going to take those two points 
and draw lines right across. So each low point of the crown is 10 centimeters wide and then each high point of the crown is also 10 centimeters wide. So at the high points, I'm just gonna make marks at every 10 centimeters. Then I'm gonna do the same at the low points, but I'm starting at five. So at five, 15 centimeters, 25 centimeters, 35 centimeters, and then I'll just be able to connect the dots. And then I think I'm just gonna cut it off at this leftover edge here. Okay, so now I'm just gonna cut it out. Okay, so now I've got my first piece of the crown cut. And if you were actually really careful with how you were cutting it, you could actually reuse this piece here just to finish off the rest of the crown. So I'm just gonna grab 10 centimeters worth. So from this middle point to the second middle point. Okay, so now I'm gonna roll it so it's able to sit in a round circle. So I'm just gonna be using hot glue again, but I'm gonna try and use the least amount of glue as possible because I don't want it to be showing through. Okay, so a couple other final touches that I added that I didn't get the chance to explain before was that I glued some ribbon to the inside of the crown so that I'm able to pin it into my wig and it won't fall off throughout the night. Then I also just grabbed one of the little felt things that I made for my first Sars Velour photo. And then I added some blue tears just with some blue felt and I just glued that onto the front of my crown also. Okay, so now we can finally move on to the makeup. I'm not gonna do like a full tutorial because it's just a classic Sasha face and I feel like it's done before and I don't really have anything new to bring to the table. But as I was saying, I just wanted to do a classic Sasha face, you know, with the red glitter lip. And I also wanted to make a reference to an earlier Sasha look with these blue cartoon tears.
Okay, so it turns out I wasn't filming for a big chunk of this. Whoopsies. So basically I just used a light brown eyeshadow to mark out all the lines of the eyeliner, the new crease line and the eyebrows. Then I used a darker brown eyeshadow to create the shadows of the crease line. And now you can see I'm just doing my eyeliner. And there we have the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.